wolf pack to another ultimate keyboard controls guide to the game of scum today we will specifically talk about firearms and the firearms related combat controls you can see we have a couple of uh, puppets out in the field over here we can drop into a combat stance by pressing the v button just like it would put us into a fighting stance if we had no weapon in our hands to aim down the sights of the weapon you press the right mouse button to even focus further, you press the right mouse button and hold it. Now you'll be able to hear sounds much more clearly and tell where a specific threat is coming from if you cannot see it. To hold our breath, we press the control button that will steady our aim and allow us to take a shot. We only have a few seconds to do so. You'll notice that shot was suppressed and those other two puppets over there were not alerted to our presence. That is a very important improvement for the suppressed firearms which you can see right here if we are done engaging targets we can press the v button again and we will drop into our normal stance if we have a semi-automatic rifle we can change and select our rate of fire shift and j will select from full auto to one round if we're attempting to uh, sneak up on a target and stay in cover you can use the e button to lean to the right and move you can also use the Q button to lean to the left. You can do the same thing in third person. You can actually move the camera from one shoulder to the other. And then if you press it a second time, that's when you can lean out over the cover. To reload or change magazines, you can press the R button. That will drop one mag and put the next mag in. So if we have to go hand to hand with a Z, press the mouse button in the center. That is your weapons bash. It has to be timed nicely, but it is a very effective melee weapon if you have a rifle in your hands. When using the scope, a couple of tips for keyboard commands. If we wanted a range on this tree, you could tap the control button. That is going to give us a range on whatever those crosshairs are on. This tree is approximately 145 meters away. To put that into practical play, if we were sniping and we were uh, expecting a threat to come from this direction, I would range this tree by pressing the control button. I see that this tree is 266 meters out. I can hold my shift button and I can scroll my mouse wheel up and set my zero for about 300 meters. That way when anybody comes around this tree or anywhere in this vicinity, I know that I'm already zeroed and I'm good to go. If I needed to set my windage, which I don't believe is in the game yet, I can hold shift and left shift and left alt and I can move my mouse wheel up and down and you'll see on the right side there, the bottom metric is moving. And that will be my windage to account for wind speed. Uh, you just have to find out which direction it's coming from and adjust accordingly. To snap out from the scope, tap your right button again. And you are back into position. If you run out of ammo, you can just press the R button. And in the case of the bolt action rifle with an internal magazine, it will feed all of the rounds into the magazine until it's full, assuming that you have them in your inventory. If you have found a semi-automatic rifle but have not found a magazine for it, but you do have the correct size ammo for the rifle, you can simply press R and you will load one round of ammo into the chamber and you'll be able to shoot just by doing this. Not as effective and clearly not what the weapon is designed for, but it uh, is still effective. To load the ammo into your magazines, uh, just make sure you have the correct ammo for the magazine that you're loading, hover over it, drag and drop, hit the load ammo button, and you will load those rounds into the magazine. A few months ago, crafting ammunition changed uh, with one of the patches. I believe it was in June. I've done an entire series of videos on how crafting ammunition has evolved. Uh, you'll see right here, uh, as of October 2019, uh, you need at least a million survival points to craft ammunition. You will see here because I do not have 1 million survival points that all of this ammo is grayed out. I cannot craft anything other than 9mm. Also keep in mind that the improvised rifle rail you will not be able to craft until you have your survival skill up to advanced and you also need your rifle skill elevated as well. I'm not sure exactly where it needs to be but it will not work if you have only basic rifles. Keep watching this Scum University playlist for further tips and tricks to further your gameplay experience playing Scum. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you got something out of this video, please smash that like button. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.